Frozen, Frozen, Heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, Heroes. Gonna tell you about comic books, costumes, facts, boots, and other stuff. In this week's issue, All-Star Batman and Robin the Boy Wonder. Welcome in to Bros, Foes, and Heroes. I'm Zach, joined by the boy wonder to my Batman. Mm-hmm. And I know that that's low-hanging fruit for mm-hmm. Devo, but it will make sense for this episode. Uh, joined by Mike. Mike, how you doing today? Hello, I'm doing okay. We took a slight hiatus. A little bit. We had some yeah. some episodes still there, and, yeah. but still, I mean, we, we had things to do. I had um, I had to get my cyborg pieces put in. Exactly. Yeah. So did the, are you still waiting on the eye part? I am one quarter cyborg at this point. One quarter. One quarter. Okay. When you add all the little pieces up. Okay. Yeah. So more like Kano, less like actually cyborg. Sure. Mortal Kombat? I don't know Kano. Oh, oh. Mortal Kombat. Yeah, oh, you know, yeah. Okay. With, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Until you get the eye, I don't think you can call yourself a cyborg. Okay. You I, know? Didn't, I didn't know like what that was. I mean, that's was. fair, right? I don't. Mm, yeah. You need one laser eye. I feel like, yeah. Do you yeah. remember, and this is kind of weird, and uh-huh. maybe you know, the, uh, did you ever watch Captain Planet? That's a oh, little bit yeah, past little, your time. Yeah. But wasn't, didn't that woman on there have a cyborg eye? Maybe. I feel like there's one, but she just had like a, just a little piece. But she could only see trash. And the rest of her, and I don't know. Burning tires. Wind was a power. <laughs> Wind? Wasn't it? It was <laughs> earth, know, man. fire. Wind. Yeah, wind. Sure. Water. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, so I don't remember them all. I really didn't like it as a show. But you so, didn't like it or you did? I didn't. No, it's not a great show. I did like, have you ever seen the one where Don Cheadle is Captain yes, Planet? Yeah, yeah, the funnier dice kid. That's yeah. fantastic. No, yeah. that one is funny. Um, I mean, I'm all for saving the environment, but sure. that was I did not, not appreciate the environment. cartoon. Yeah, yeah, I would rather sure. watch Moo Mesa, which was... Moo Mesa? Yeah, do you remember Moo Mesa? Oh, man. Dude, it was uh, cowboys that were like long. Oh, now I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got you. All right, but we're not talking about 90s cartoons <laughs> today. Moo Mesa. <laughs> the, I, oh, man, I almost started singing the theme song. That was one of my favorites. Uh, but we are talking about, Mike, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get you a little bit excited, right? Yeah, I'm gonna, okay. I want to amp you up for what right, we, here we got. Go. Here we go. I said it was related to me calling you my Robin. That's mm-hmm. because the book we're covering today is All-Star Batman and Robin the Boy Wonder. Oh, oh boy. Now, the All-Star series started back in 2005, and it was DC basically saying, hey, let's go ahead and pair up some of our best... Yeah. <laughs> I just showed him all the cowboys. Some of, some of the best well-known writers yeah. and artists yeah. together on a book. Okay. So they had like... And this is what, what time frame? 2005 is when okay. this was. Okay, all right. So right, they did All Star Superman, yeah, which I think Grant Morrison wrote, and I mm-hmm. can't remember who drew right off hand, but still, like mm-hmm. everybody loved it. Okay, for All Star uh, Batman and Robin, the Boy Wonder, mm-hmm. they said, "Hey, let's take Frank Miller, yes, and let's take Jim Lee, Ooh. who Jim Lee did when we covered the Long Halloween. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. and let's put the two of them together for a story. Yeah. And it sounds like, oh, that should sounds be right, great, right? Yeah. I can tell you that." Uh, it's basically the story of Batman uh, and Robin becoming partners in a way. Mm-hmm. Um, I can tell you the people in this book like life, again, like life partners. No, 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 no. Oh. Like like crime fighting. Partners. Oh, okay, okay. CF. I think we're finally gonna drop that veil and just no, because yeah. then and you don't think about it, especially in this. There's the whole age thing, which would be super mm-hmm. weird too, mm-hmm. because he's 12. plus he's a boy wonder. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Like he's yeah. twelve in this. He's twelve but, in this. Seriously. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, that's how young Dick Grayson. Is Never mind this. that I brought that up then. <laughs> so please, I please. can also tell you, Wonder Woman appears in it. Okay. Superman. Okay. Green Lantern. Mm. I'll save. I'll save. I uh, know. I'll. Uh, <laughs> I'll save. Uh, well, a uh, Plastic Man's in it. Oh, Plastic Man. Joker. Plastic Man. There's a superhero you can take seriously. Joker. Catwoman. <laughs> yeah. Black Canary. Wow. Like, this is this is jam packed. Okay. Right? This is getting this is getting into that territory that I that I worry about when you put too many heroes or villains into a into a vehicle. Yeah, well, we'll get into it to see how well it works. Mm-hmm. Um, is this, a, is it, this is a series? It was it, 10 issues. 10 issues, okay. 10 yep. issues of this from 2005 to 2008. Okay. So, 
uh, just to get all the credit out of the way then to everybody who deserves it. The mm-hmm. book written by Frank Miller. Mm-hmm. It was penciled by Jim Lee, mm-hmm. inked by Scott Williams, colored by Alex Sinclair. Wow. Lettered by Jared K. Fletcher. Okay. So that's, I'm covering everybody before we dive in. Yeah, it's it's a star-studded affair here. It is. And uh, big ups to our, something I appreciated. Another thing that I found really cool mm-hmm. about the book was, um, and talking about the lettering, which is something I don't think you think about a lot, Mm-mm. but every character, um, every main character, when mm-hmm. they were focused on, mm-hmm. and they were having like inner dialogue or mm-hmm. like thoughts to themselves. Right. Uh it was different font oh, for wow. each character. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, it was like there are things in they here. They should like, do that more often. I can't tell you like Jim Lee. His it looks fantastic. Mm-hmm. This the whole coloring through this whole thing. I will not bash how great it looks. No, I really like the idea of everybody kind of being different like that. That's cool. Yeah. So it adds. It could to lead it. to a big mess, though. It could, but they also behind the bubbles, like they color them differently, mm. and so like they. So and, and that part I really enjoyed. It's cool. And again, I'm just trying to find, uh, like just some art in general. Like mm-hmm. it's a really just a very oh, wow. vibrant, just pretty looking book. Is this Robin with the G on his? Oh yeah, this is yeah, when he's in he's, the, so, in the uh, circus. So I tell you all this, like. Yeah. Jim Lee does a fantastic job mm-hmm. through all this. Sure. The art looks great. That is the last of anything good about this book. <laughs> okay. This, I, my utter words that I've never said before in my entire life mm-hmm. when we talk about this, mm-hmm. and those words are, I hate this Batman. Really? Wow. Frank Miller. There are a lot of Batman to hate, too. There, there are. Because there's been so many iterations. Here's the thing for me. I, I guess what I'll do before I just dive into the story mm-hmm. is just make one point that I've noticed about Frank Miller. Mm-hmm. Um, is the earlier stuff, uh, like Sin City, mm-hmm. really enjoy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, the Dark Knight Returns, the first one. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic. 300? He did 300? <sighs> did he do three? I can't remember. I wanted to say he did 300 also. Um, but... There came a time then where it feels like he just pushes his Frank Miller Batman more mm-hmm. than anything. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. this is what I think a hero is. This is what I think yeah. certain characters are. Yeah. And the way he writes them has a very Frank Miller tone to it. Mm-hmm. Whereas, like, the women kind of feel degraded in this way. Yeah. Uh, just the way they talk. Right. Um, And you look at it from a book where... Um, like it's over sexualized a lot because mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. kind of a Frank Miller style storytelling wise. Mm-hmm. And I think if you're Jim Lee, he was at the time he's like, I'm working with Frank Miller. I get right. to try to do that Frank Miller style. Right. Then. Sure. Sure. And it it looks like the just the colors and everything it yeah, is. Beautiful. But, but the story and just how he uses certain characters, not mm-hmm. even just. This might be I will say this is the worst comic I've read so far this did, year. Did he write it? Yeah, he no, wrote the Frank, story. Frank also. Miller wrote the okay. story. All right, and once I get into it, you'll realize. I feel like you'll feel kind of the same way. Mm. Let's get started. So you saw I I showed you the picture of the flying Graysons. Mm. We begin just mm. like most people think about with Robin, where he's a part of the trapeze. Mm-hmm. Um, do well, I guess troop or troop, whatever? Yeah. yeah, his family. They're the flying yes. Graysons. Yes. Um. Then. And it's just, grace. yeah, that's what they've always so been. Stupid. It's them just flying through the air. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> we are introduced to Vicki Vale, who okay. people might remember as Kim Basinger's character. Yes, yes. She's there Michael selling, selling popcorn at the. No, no, oh. we flashed her apartment, which for a journalist mm-hmm. is the swankiest apartment She's got a I've really nice ever apartment. seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, She's taking bribes. we, I guess, want you to know right away that Vicki Vale is. Man, is she a knockout? Mm-hmm. Because the first time we see her is in a scene that I can only imagine that not many women usually find themselves on mm-hmm. on a Friday night or whatever night of the week. Sure. She's just walking around drinking a martini mm-hmm. in her underwear and yeah. high heels. Sure. Because yeah. Frank Miller knows women. Yes. Yes. So that is the first time we meet Vicky Vale. Yeah. When my wife wants to get comfortable, she puts on those extra high heels with the little poofs on the front. Yeah. Of them and yeah. Uh, just strips right down to her underwear and drinks a martini. Because there's nothing, I mean, that makes her feel more relaxed. Sure. And everything. Women can't feel their feet. Did you know that? 
Really? Yeah, I can't feel their feet. <laughs> That's why they wear those high heels all the time. I get it. And then it's yeah. just panels of just over-sexualizing. Oh my Lord. Yeah, she is really. Right from the beginning. They're like, man, we're going to get people in with this whole Vicky Vale looking they were sexy just, thing. They were just like, well, we can't show her nude, it, but how close can we get? It's kind of, again, this is what I bring back to Frank Miller in a way. It mm. always seems that he likes to push things. I, I was trying to, well, not push, but he... The this way is, I was this trying, is after Sin City, right? Yeah, no, this is 2000. Yeah, yeah so no. he's he's already cashed in on a lot of these things, and probably in his mind, he goes, "Okay, A, B, C, and D works. E doesn't work, but F does. You know that kind well, of thing. Yeah, but, one of them is over sexualized women. Yeah, but to me, because Sin though, City, oh, good God. Oh yeah, no, for sure. But I go back and I look at like Dark Knight Returns, mm -hmm. and it's like weird enough, mm -hmm. right? Like, and it's like Frank Miller wants to make it more weird. There's not a whole hell of a lot of women in Dark Knight Returns, right? No, there's not. There's like, the, there's, there's the reporter on yeah. TV. Uh, there's the one weird bad guy, the yeah. Nazi lady. Yeah. She makes an appearance in this too, by oh, the way. Oh, really? Wow. Well, because it's a Frank Miller Batman story, I guess it's all yeah. interconnected yeah. somehow. Yeah. He's got his own world. Yeah. Um, But it's just very, it's like he found something that worked with, Dark Knight Returns, in my opinion. Right. And then when he went for the next thing, the he looked at it and he was like, I bet you they like it because of how weird it mm -hmm. is. Instead of focusing I, on the other things that could have made it a little better. And I like, can't call it Dark Knight Returns Returns. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, basically, before I got off track, uh, Alfred calls Vicki Vale to let her know that Bruce Wayne is inviting her to uh, a date mm. to the circus. Because mm. that's a great date. That is a good date. Um, but also, I feel like in Gotham, that is a good date, though. It is in Gotham. Like, oh, Gotham is sure. weird enough to where they're like, oh, circus? Yes, please. But do you also know that in all of these things, and I'm trying to think through the movies, too, whenever they depict the circus, there's mm -hmm. never any animals there. No. So it's an animalist circus. Sure, sure. It's a people circus. It's a people circus. Yeah. Which yeah. kind of sounds weird to say. But mm. e either way, um, but I Everybody's love how. Everybody's got their thing. <laughs> I love how they go from like, oh, Vicki Vale. She's sexy and strong. Like, yeah. like they go to like yeah. pandering to immediately. Yeah. Alfred tells her, "Oh, you got a break, uh, date with Bruce Wayne." And she's like, "I got a date with Bruce Wayne. I got a date with Make Bruce sure Wayne." Make sure you wear your finest under things. because because we all know women hate men except they can't get enough of them. Mm -hmm. It's Frank mm -hmm. Miller logic. They love them bad boys. It'll it'll come up a lot. Yep. So basically, we go to make things you know because we could be all day just me attacking Frank Miller on stuff, but. Maybe, uh, maybe she's just like deep down looking for a guy with a telescope or something. You know, that's why she strips down and just parades around in her no, nothing she's but not. windows no, apartment. She has one other scene, mm. like big scene kind mm -hmm. of after the first issue. Mm -hmm. And it's, again, just kind of over-sexualizing her. Oh, okay. That's it. All right. That's the thing is it leads nowhere. I'm trying to get somewhere with her. No, you but, can't. Yeah. The, the, the beauty of this 10-issue storyline is there's not really an ending. It just mm. got canceled. Mm. It just kind of came to an end. And even before they got to that point, mm -hmm. you really don't know what the story is anyway. <laughs> For real. Dude. Wow. It, this okay. Is, was, All right. So uh, we reimagine the Dick Grayson storyline where instead of his parents falling, you know, after mm -hmm. like something snapped yeah, into their yeah, death, yeah. they're both shot in front of Robin. Sure. And Batman. Up on the trapeze? No. Like oh. after they've landed and they're uh, posing, they get okay. shot. Batman apparently is just like, oh, he's entered my world now. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. this I got anybody who loses their parents. I'm about to recruit this kid for a war. Yeah, because when I see an orphan, <laughs> let's get ready to train him into a crime fighting machine. When I see this, an orphan, this Batman, I yeah. I hate to say uh, this phrase, so I'll say it once, uh -huh. and then I'll just I'll, I'll go sure. afterwards. Sure, but there is a phrase that comes up, I would say at least twenty times throughout the book. I, I, I might not be that much. It feels like it's a lot. Mm -hmm. It's probably about 10. Mm -hmm. But it comes from Batman mostly. Okay. And then also, I think uh, Jim Gordon says it. Uh, Black Canary says it. Mm. Uh, it. It comes up a phrase, but it's the goddamn Batman. Mm. Batman usually quotes it to himself where he's like, I am. Like, like, wait, so, wait, wait, wait. He says, I am the goddamn Batman? Yes. Oh, come on. Yes. Oh. That's Dude, dumb. this no, we haven't even got to the like. That's stupid. He exactly yeah. like he is all about. And okay, so I am MF and Superman. Yeah, that's just stupid. It, it is. Yeah, third person too. Exactly. And he in all the inner dialogue, like this is the craziest Batman ever. Mm. 
And I guess it's trying to show you like, hey, this is between how we get to, you know, this is my world, how it kind of story that could connect it to the Dark Knight Returns, gotcha. all the, the, the Miller verse or whatever. You're Pretty reading. cool. But it's just from the beginning, you don't like him. So the. That's he, a real problem when you don't like the main character. Exactly. You, know? you don't yeah. like any of the characters yeah. in this, which is yeah. the problem. And it's Batman and it's like all these people. Also, so I guess basically the cops come. Uh, Batman hunts down to see who it was that was the shooter. Right. Kind of, I think he uses snake venom or something to poison him. <laughs> um, and, you know, basically hands him over Take to the this cops. this goddamn snake. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So uh, he catches the killer of the Graysons and the cops go and take uh, Dick Grayson and they say that they're going to take him back to the station. Vicki Vale knows you don't trust the Popos in Gotham. Sure. Um, so they, they follow the Gotham City Police and they take him to this gold or gulch. 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 This gulch. Gold, and, gold. And Vicky just knows that they're going to kill Dick Grayson because mm. if they kill the kid, they don't have to worry about finding the killer. It's another cover up. Like, what? A, dude, that's what a great thing. plan. No, there's multiple times. It, it's yeah. such weird wording because there's multiple times that it's brought up where it's like you're used to cops in other places and you thought that, you know, that they're pretty good for the most part, right? Mm -hmm. And Dick Grayson's like, yeah. Batman's like, not in Gotham. You don't trust the law. Oh, okay. All right, thanks, Dude, Batman. This so thanks, uh, GD Batman. Batman comes in, saves the day, basically kidnaps uh, Dick Grayson. Mm -hmm. That's right. The hero of the comic has now already apparently he already knows a lot about the kid the first time he watches him, right? Because he's like, oh, I've had my eye on this kid, so he's been planning on like recruiting him for a crime fighting partner even before his parents died, which is kind of weird and creepy. That is weird. Because he's 12 he's years old. That 12 -year -old also, kid. I think it's brought up at one point in time that he was a black belt in karate by the time he was eight or nine, which is bullshit to begin with, too. He's so flexible. And it's, it's sometimes it's just a little lazy <laughs> storytelling, I think. Yeah, sure. Um, but so Batman is already you know what's the laziest, a child. You know what's the laziest part to me? Huh? Is that both of them had their parents killed the same way. Yes. That's dumb. Yes. Yeah. At least in, in most of the stories, you know, his parents fall to their death and that kind of thing. And it the, is kind of the same, but but at least it's a different way. And this book has so much dialogue. Really? It is so dense, but yeah. only half of it is between two people. Mm. It's most of, of it is like, so like half like, of it is just like inner thoughts. dialogue. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that sucks. So um, he takes him back to the Batcave, basically. And uh, locks him down there and tells him if he gets hungry, he can eat uh, some rats or bats down there. <laughs> I also forgot to mention that in the car there. And that's where Corona started. Um, when he puts him in the car, yep. he puts his hand over his mouth to keep him quiet. These this, are all bad is, things. It is. And this yeah. is the first issue. These are all bad things. Then as he moves his hand back, you see gas. He has gassed Robin to get him not to mm. be... So, like, crazy and hysteric as he's That's driving fantastic. back to the back. Good job, Batman. Then they get into an argument about something, or Robin makes fun of him for something, and Batman straight up backhands him. Mm. Just right there in the car. Batman's a great guy in this So, one. if you're counting down uh, how great Batman is with kids, in just one issue of this story, we have kidnap, mm -hmm. we have uh, abuse, mm -hmm. we have, and the fact that he uh, basically drugged him too. Drugged him. Oh, uh, and left him in the back cave to eat. With. With no food. When with no food, yeah. told him he can eat rats or um, bats, bats yeah. until he could come up with, you know, and basically just left him down there to his. Sure. Um, the storyline. This is sounding like true crime so far. No, oh, it's so, it's just so bad. So yeah. uh, through all of this. Wait, look, can I, can I rewind just a bit? Yeah, go ahead. Vicki Vale was involved in this how? So that's the thing. Vicki Vale in the attempt to go after to get a picture of this to like, oh, mm -hmm. Gotham City's cops are mm -hmm. corrupt. Mm -hmm. Through the explosion and everything from Batman fighting them, gotcha. there was an accident because her and Alfred are driving together okay. because she left the circus with him. Okay. And she has very bad injuries from the car accident from the explosion. Mm -hmm. Tore her underwear right off. No, nah, well, yeah. it's like, it's weird too because it's like a piece of her clavicle and one of her ribs is like, just like floating around free. I don't remember. Yuck. It's just something weird. It was a weird thing to yeah. describe as okay. an injury. No big deal. Go back to where um, you were. Yeah. No, because I'll say then that um, 
they take her to the hospital and Alfred calls Batman to be like, you know, hey, she's seriously injured. I'm a goddamn and, doctor. <laughs> well, he goes, go get Dr. So-and-so. And basically Alfred's like, oh, he's out of the country. And he goes, that's fine. He can fly. Call Clint at the, or call Kent at the, you know, uh, uh, what is, where does the uh, Clark Kent work? What's the paper? At the uh, uh, Daily the, Planet. Yeah. He can get, he, he knows how to get a hold of him. And like he hangs up on Alfred and he's like, that's got to bother him that I know who he is and he doesn't know who I am. Ugh. Yes, this is the worst Batman this ever. This is douche man. Yes. Uh, I, that's funny. When I was thinking about it last night, mm-hmm. I called him Bat Douche. Yeah. So, yeah. There it's the same go. thought. Um, but so Superman's kind of goes and like brings this doctor back for Vicky and then like just drop there. <laughs> Again, it's just drop how, there. I love how Superman's like an Uber. He's basically. just, he, he's just like pissed off the whole time. Yeah. That's all it is. Um, so the story then is Batman trying to figure out who was a top of the hit to kill sure. Robin's family while all this is going on. And I have to pull up my, my photos of things that I saved to make sure, uh, that, uh, you know, yo, oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. I had to show you the, uh, GD Batman line so you could believe it yourself. Number one, his, his cowl in this thing looks more like daredevil than mm-hmm. Batman. And has the short bat ears. What are you, dense? Are you retarded or something? Oh, I forgot about that. Yes. Who the hell do you think I am? I'm the goddamn Batman. Ugh. Right? What a jackass. Here's the thing, too. It also comes up twice. Yeah. Um, Both Black Canary and Robin called the Batmobile queer. Oh. So you've got the word queer. You've got the word uh, retarded. And then you've got... The GD Batman all yep. the time. That's great. This is some of the best job, Batman Frank riding Miller. you're going to find. You did it. And we haven't even hit the worst part yet, Mike. Mm. The worst part to me comes at the very end, and it's just... 20 pimps out, Robin. <sighs> so, no, we don't get there. But um, basically, Vicky Vale, I guess, gets a picture of, or somehow there's a picture of Batman interfering with the cops and the boys. So yeah. they think that Batman kidnapped... Um, the little kid, which it it's made its way to Metropolis, mm-hmm. like the story. Mm-hmm. Wonder Woman shows up because um, she's going to meet. We find out the Justice League there. Mm-hmm. What is the beginning of the Justice mm-hmm. League? Mm-hmm. It's Squirrel Superman. Oh. No, no, it's it's Superman. It's Green Lantern, and mm-hmm. it's Plastic Man, gotcha. and then Wonder Woman. Um, something that I'm sure you want the first words out of Wonder Woman again, a character yes, who is to. Uh, I'll just, I, I can't get over how he writes dialogue for this mm-hmm. sometimes, but she's walking down the street and she has just this pissed off look on her face. Everybody's pissed wants off. Wants everybody to just get yeah. out of her way. And her, the words, again, this is the first words of this book from Wonder Woman. Mm-hmm. Out of my way, sperm bank. Ah, come on. And then, of course, we have to over-sexualize Wonder Woman oh, as well. Lord. She gets in the elevator. She's in like, a trench coat. Well, there's a scene. She gets in the elevator, like undoes the trench coat, and it's like it falls off her shoulders, uh, kind of. Sure. You know, because we got to sexualize Wonder Woman, too. Sure. Wonder Woman basically tells them, like, hey, we have to take care of this asshole in Batman. Out of my way, sperm bank. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder Woman tells the <laughs> so other three, stupid. basically, what we need to do is we need to go take care of him, put his head on a spike so everybody knows we p- police ourselves. Uh. That's Wonder Woman's thought. Because you know, Wonder Woman, I just look off. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Sure. Uh, Wonder Woman, homicidal maniac. Yeah. Yeah. That's always been one of them. They all are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Superman's like, no, cooler heads need to prevail. Uh Uh, Green Lantern's like, hey, let's not do anything until I talk to him. Just try to see where it's at. And then we'll rip out his small intestine. Yeah. Yeah. Did he, you know, maybe he didn't kidnap this kid. Right. And they're like, ah, oh, you know, he's flying off the handle. He's, you know, batshit insane. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah. Actually, sure, pun intended. Um, But it ends with a fight between Wonder Woman and Superman verbally. Like, mm. they're back and forth on another. And then she turned around to leave basically like a giant F you guys and mm-hmm. then turns around to kiss Superman. Because what is the stupidest thing she could do at that moment? That. So let's yeah, go sure. ahead and put it in there. Sure. So we have pent up, you know. I you know what I used to buy comic books for were uh, the uh, 
like you know watch to watch mom and dad fight yep. to hear um things you just see pissed off people on the pages pushing each other out of the way i love a good child kidnapping yep. you know all of these things are great oh, well, you know what it does it, it starts making things like that kid who could turn into a truck look good oh yeah you know what i mean u.s archer yeah yeah uh, he couldn't turn it into well a truck. you know what i mean he had the, he yeah. control all the trucks so with his through, bubble gum brain or whatever it was <laughs> no he got he chewed on the bubble gum wrapper right, to right. reset it. yeah yeah you should go back and listen to it. I think that was episode four. Maybe yeah. it was three. One of the two. It's go, a good one. Go back and check it out. Yeah. So it was it was a different kind of stupid. This is just bad. Mm-hmm. Um, the thing that I think this book is remembered most for, I guess, is just how bad and ridiculous Batman is in a lot of this. So have you given me the entire story now? I mean, I've given. Yeah, we haven't finished it, but that's this is the premise of the story so far. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is bad. It's about. Yeah. You know, Batman and Robin. Yeah, because I keep waiting for like, oh, there's Sinestro or, you know, a meteor's falling from the sky there, or something. There is a scene. I didn't even tell you about this. There's We start, I think, issue three mm-hmm. at a bar. Um, and there's Black Canary. Is Batman's a, just drinking no, real hard. Black Canary is a bartender. There. Black Canary is a bartender. Sure. And it's it's got a, it's a different Black Canary mm-hmm. uh, because she has an Irish accent. <laughs> but. At least he doesn't write her with an Irish accent. Right. Thank sure, goodness. Sure, sure, sure. So, um, but I mean, it's not uh, Diana Lance or, uh, yeah. you know. But she basically gets tired Come of here. all the men hitting on her in the bar. Right. Even though we make sure that she's dressed as skimpy as hell. Mm-hmm. Um, again, not saying that the the dudes had a right to do right, it. Right, 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 right. I realized sure, how I sure. said that. I was like, yeah, it's weird. Plus no, 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 weird no, no. Like, You're just saying that all yeah. the women in this thing are yes, over-sexualized. They are. Yeah. Um, and so all the men, at least the evil men, always, you know, hit on the women too because Batman stops a rapist mm. and, like, breaks his arm in one of these just to show a little crime fighting. Yeah. And he's like, don't you can't call. rape with a broken arm. And he's like, that's what he uh, Sure. The, the guy's like, what? what's wrong? He's like, it's a compound fracture, you rapist. And he was like, <laughs> It'll heal, but it'll never heal right. And then on those cold days, you'll remember this one because arthritis is going to be a bitch. What? Theoretically. He, he says arthritis? He says arthritis. Oh, my God. Really? Um, I mean, I paraphrase some of it, but he does tell him that he'll basically Just catch arthritis. Just wait in another 10 years when there's a front coming through. And I'll be with him. And then uh, he leaves and tells the woman, she, he's like, if you have a shrink, you should probably talk to her. Uh, but just know that I'm always watching out for the city. And he runs when she goes, I love you, Batman. Because <laughs> again, this book is ridiculous. I love you, Batman. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so <laughs> I had to remember where I was. Oh, Batman <laughs> basically comes back, uh, to, I love you, Batman. yeah, Robin does eventually kill a rat and he's supposed to come up with, uh, so Robin's still down in the bat cave. Yeah. Fending for is. himself. And he, Frank Miller in this also loves to repeat dialogue a lot. Mm. So it's like, there's one, you know, that panel I saw, I showed you where there's like five different panels of him, like jumping, mm-hmm. trying to catch them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It says they've always, they always catch me in every mm. single one of those panels mm. because he is repeating dialogue a lot. Mm-hmm. And he does that a lot in all of mm-hmm. this and it shows up here too. But, um, basically to make it short through the concept they have, because Batman does not have a good conversation with anybody to progress right. the main storyline real quick. Oh no, 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 no. Um, I was talking about black Canary. Mm-hmm. I'll come back to black Canary. Let me finish this point. Okay. Um, so Batman and Robin get there, basically figure out, Hey, all right, Robin tells him, Hey, I'm going to be, my dad always used to read me stories about Robin hood. I'm going to be hood. Mm. And he's like taught himself how to use the bow and arrow that's down there. Right. And Batman walks over and he's like, if you fight anybody half as smart and he grabs the hood and pulls it down, Mm. he's like, they'll do that. You're Robin. And he said, lose the hood and walks over. Mm. So basically now we have Robin. They're working on a, um, not alter ego, what do you call it? A secret identity okay. for him. Sure. Back to Black Canary. So she beats up everybody at the bar after she gets it tired. You know, it has a picture of dynamite and the mm. comparison is the fuse getting shorter and shorter mm. and she mm. explodes and, you know, gets pissed off and beats up everybody in the bar because they're yeah. all, you know, uh, grabbing at her, you know, yeah. touching her inappropriately. The sure. things they're saying to her she doesn't like. 
At this um, point in the series, now it's time to address the misogyny. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. The thing that sends her over the edge, I don't know if it's this one or the next time it does it, but one of the guys, it just shows that I don't know if Frank Miller knows how. Man, I feel like I'm shitting on Frank Miller a lot. Mm. And I, I feel it's just this book. Yeah. I'm talking about Frank Miller in this book. Right. Sure, if, sure, sure. If you like him and other stuff, that's fine. Yeah. But love chunks. Mm. One of the guys calls her love chunks. Love chunks. Mm. And that's what sets her off. Yeah. Like I get you're just I, I get black canary just being tired of but what the hell is love chunks? That my does not sound like my lovely lady love chunks. No. Oh, yeah. Isn't sounds, that it? It sounds like, you know, they tried to make some kind of goulash sound great yeah, for that's kids. Rough, man. No, that one love chunks sounds love chunks. Cr- and see, it mm. sounds disgusting. I don't know what it is. But uh <laughs> she's also there's a scene where she goes down to uh the Pier, I guess, to help fight bad guys with uh-huh. Batman. Sure. Batman comes in and saves her because she's... Bad guys are really stupid. They, they always are, hang out at the pier or a warehouse. And, and I'll tell you, everybody in this, nobody is as prepared as Batman is. Yeah. Oh, of course. Because he's Batman. He's a GD Batman. So he basically, you know, just tells them how bad they are the whole mm-hmm. time while they do it. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess this is hot to Black Canary because the two of them end up doing it. And mm. she says, keep the mask on. It'll be hotter that way. Because, of course... <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's all fantastic. superhero women are yeah. and then you ready for this that was Keep issue five on. issue five never shows up again the rest of the series ah. so that is always see a black canary she was there to beat up people in a bar and been, just be a sexual object for batman and then we're gone. ghosted yep sure uh also while this is going on we are introduced to um barbara gordon as mm. in jim's daughter mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she is dressed up like there's a scene where like she has the grappling hook and she dresses up as Batgirl. Mm-hmm. Um, there's not really much there. She's like, got like the Hooters shorts on. No, 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 not, not, <laughs> not in that sense. I mean, oh, just storyline. Okay. Like there's Sorry. nothing there. The funniest part to me was is she has a line where it's uh, it's hard to lie to your dad, especially when he's a detective. But you can get good at it. Just remember to smile when you're bullshitting your dad. So maybe that could be. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, that's a t-shirt. That, that is. That remember is. to yeah, smile when you're one. bullshitting your yeah. dad. Uh, but she's just in it for no reason. <laughs> yeah. Like she doesn't, uh, you know, add to the story at yeah. all. Yeah. Um, it's just here's one more girl to I think, get in. I think at the end. No, I take that back. I think Black Canary comes up one more time. Mm. At the end, uh, she has to like fight like a snuff film dealer kind of thing oh because it's. It's Frank Miller. So, yeah, let's be as dark as possible. Uh, We see the Joker in there where he's basically just hooked up with some, like, (laughs) The Joker's like a good guy in this thing. He's like, hey, guys. He's got a dragon tattoo on his back. It Uh, looks like Jared Leto's Joker before. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, But he's like, you know, uh, he's like, I know all about you kind of thing. She's some, like, you know, lawyer or something Mm. with the da's office right so they've just hooked up and what does he do afterwards he kills her afterwards okay and gets the uh nazi woman from dark knight returns mm-hmm. to come clean up the dead body that's sure. her appearance sure uh basically then he goes to uh you gotta talk- know how to use your nazis he does you know? yeah exactly he goes to talk to Catwoman and ask if she wants to help him with the scheme mm. Um, where that goes is they find Catwoman just beaten up in an alley later and then nothing because the book got canceled wow ah. I have saved all this for just wrapping up all the other loose ends to wrap up the main one here Mm -hmm. as I come back to Batman and Robin. Sure. And we talked about that they wanted Robin to be able to find a uh, alter ego, if you will, a a secret identity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Green Lantern. Rat boy. Shows up in Gotham to talk to Batman. Okay. When Batman finds him, tells him, meet me here, we'll talk. Mm Mm-hmm. Green Lantern shows up to talk to Batman. Good God. Look at all this dialogue. That's not why I'm showing it to you, Mike. Why is Batman gold? Why is everything gold? I don't think one of Green Lantern's weaknesses, if you'll remember, is his power ring does not work on anything the color yellow. Oh. So what is their Brad idea to deal with this? Paint everything they yellow. They paint everything yellow, including themselves. What? They painted themselves? Yellow. 
That sucks. Yeah. No. Um, so they painted themselves yellow as not to have to. Because, I mean, was he afraid that Green Lantern was going to kick his, his ass? Going to use his power ring, I guess. Yeah. How weird. That was the Brad idea. Also, though, uh, Green Lantern says, hey. And Batman's just like walking around the room like, yeah, no big deal. Everything's yeah. yellow. I painted Ser- the throw pillows. I painted him, the he's dog. serving them lemonade. Oof. Come on. Um, but then Green Lantern goes, we know that that's that Dick Grayson kid that you kidnapped. Mm. Go ahead. Give him back up. Like, sure. You're a loose cannon. Put him back in the circus. And Robin basically goes, no, I'm not. That kid basically came out the other day. They found him. He was at the hospital, said everything was fine. They have planted a story now where Dick Grayson was presented back into police custody, and he's not. But yet they have no proof of it or anything. That, that Batman, say well, he like shows up and like he gives a press conference, and he's like, no, Batman saved me from the police, and then mm. I've been at the hospital. No, oh, okay. And so Batman's like, you're talking about this kid? Ha, 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 you're an idiot. Thinking that, like that's his, that's his big... Oh no! How weird, dude! This whole book was just—it hurt my head. Yeah. Um. And then he says something. Robin gets pissed off and hits him right in the kind of trachea area, or the right in the uh, Adam's apple, and mm-hmm. kind of crushes his throat. And Batman has to trach uh, Green Lantern so wait, he doesn't wait, wait, die. Wait, 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 Robin punches Green Robin Lantern in the like, in the huh, Adam's like, apple, you know, the straight like you know throat chop. And then Batman and like has to like stick, and he a, can't stick a pin in his yeah. neck. So Robin doesn't kill Green Lantern. Oh, come on. Wow. Yeah. And then they go to the grave of Robin's parents and they uh, kneel down and they hug and they cry. Mm. That's. Wow. How oh, great. There's all star Batman and Robin. Hope that that wasn't really fun, is. Jersey. That, that is. That is it. Yeah. Wow. That's rough, man. Yeah. That's one of the roughest stories. You know, uh, some of these stupid comics that we've talked about before, at least they're stupid and they're fun, you know, and all that. You know, and you can laugh at it. You can do whatever. This one feels no. like, like a real slog to get through. It it was just, it's, it's bad. And as much as I wanted to like it because the art looks great and all yeah, of it. Yeah, sure, sure. It, the story is just awful. It's just terrible. Um, Another thing I did want to tell you. I'd love to see Green Lantern triked, though. That's, that's uh, let me see if I what can. I'm looking for. Yeah, let me see if I can find that for you. I think I have the comic here. Um, another thing, though. And Catwoman chokes and he gives her CPR. It was just, it's it was a weird. It was a hairball. The whole read. It just was not, I did not enjoy it that much at mm. all. Uh, another thing, though, that I did want to tell you about, though, is I was flipping through um, things on DC the other day. Mm-hmm. And they had the uh, Batman Death in the Family uh, movie that they added mm. but since it's so short it's other short collections as well mm-hmm. so i watched about a 15 minute maybe a little less 12 minute short cartoon that was directed by bruce tim who did batman the animated series and mm. stuff yeah but it was sergeant rock oh wow really yes and he led i don't see i know nothing about sergeant rock yeah so i'll just tell you what he did in here yeah. is he led a squad of special soldiers one was like a frankenstein yeah. One was like a vampire and one was a werewolf. Wonderful. And they were against the Nazis. That's great. Yeah, I love that. So it exists if you yeah. want to go out there and find yeah. it. No, man, I've always felt like we needed a Sergeant Rock like movie or something. But it, it, my problem with it right now is that if you did it, it would have to be The Rock. You yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. Yep, there it is. There's a Green Lantern uh, being tricked by a uh, yellow Batman. That's fantastic. Great. Last thing we need is a corpse on our hands. You stupid little snot. Wow, the the dialogue is fantastic. Oh, yeah, no. He is verbally abusive to Robin the whole time. Yeah, that's great. There is nothing redeeming about this Batman. Mm. So, again, I hated this Batman. He is is truly an anti-hero. Yes. Yeah. And all the... Like, there's a point where he goes, you are villains. And he goes, well, we've always been villains. Mm. Like, we just... Like, well, how depressing. That's great. Thanks. So <laughs> just know that's what you can pick up when you uh, pick up anything Frank Miller here. Lately. And that's so bad, though, because, like, I, I really thought Frank Miller was, like, a genius, you know? He has a style. Yeah. And it's obviously. like that. So there you go. That huh. was this week's episode. I hope you uh, poor Robin. enjoyed how bad it was. Yeah, poor, poor Robin. But, hey, he gets poor to Green hang Lantern, out. Poor Green Lantern, I guess, really. He gets to hang out with the GD Batman. Yeah. So. 
Mm. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't like that. He's, I didn't like that at all. Yep. Nope. He was just so. I, it's just terrible. It was bad. And and it was supposed to go on, is what you're saying. Yeah. And I they think just it was supposed said, to be a 12 mm, or 13 this. issue run. And yeah, because there were so many delays. Yeah. Like All Star Superman came out, like it kept a schedule. Right. This one, like it started in 2005 and they canceled it in 2008. Wow. So 10 issues in that time? 10 issues in three years. Yes. Wow. It Wolf. was always delayed. And, there, and there's yeah. a reason why. Good job, Frank Miller. You know, he's only like 64 years old. He looks older than that, though. Doesn't he? He yeah. seems like he should have been around for like 100 years. You know? Yeah, kind of. And he kind of has a strange look of, did you ever watch Game of Thrones? Mm-hmm. Um, what was the dad, Lannister? Yeah, I know. He kind of looks like that. Yeah. Yeah. He also kind of looks like um, uh, one of the horror guys. One of the uh, guys who writes horror. I can't remember. Stephen King. No. Nah. Greg Nicotero. No, he's he got the costumes. long hair, though. Like, a, I don't know. I don't know. He's, he's just kind of creepy. The scientist him. from Independence Day. That's exactly what I was thinking. No. The one that gets taken over by them. <laughs> but sure. Yeah. Right. It is It is close. Yeah. It is close, there though. You go. You're right. He, he kind of does look like, uh, uh, dang it, I forgot his name. Not, not Bill Paxton. Uh, who played the president in Independence Day? Uh, Bill um, was Paxton, wasn't it? No, nah, Bill Paxton was... Uh, and Tombstone and Twister. And oh, oh, it, it's the one that's dead, right? Yeah, Bill Paxton's no longer Bill, with us. Bill Paxton died? Yeah. Then it's the other Bill, right? Yeah, the other Bill. I just can't think of his name. He's in the center, whatever that Bill show Bill Johnson. In. He's really yep. great. Good. Shout out to the actor Bill Johnson. <laughs> you got a great career, maybe, Bill Johnson. Maybe also <laughs> sure. Ted Flanagan. Shout out to that Ted actor, Ted Flanagan. Too. Any, any other people we need to shout out As to? As the boy wonder. The boy wonder. Nope. Yeah. This has been Bros, Foes, and Heroes. <laughs> As always, you can find us on Instagram, Bros, Foes, Heroes, or feel free to shoot us an email, Bros, Foes, and Heroes at gmail.com. I feel like this comic like really depressed you. It didn't depress It didn't depress me as in, like, I read it and I was like, oh, yeah. man. Yeah. It's just, it's one of those things where I want it to keep going because I was right. like, how much worse is this yeah. going to get? And what's the point? Yeah, it's like yeah. the old, uh, you know, people like to rubberneck when you go past an accident. Yeah. It was just that kind of thing in a way where you're like, oh, that was bad. Oh, this is going to get worse. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so you just mm-hmm. keep flipping through. Oh, there's a head on the ground. Yeah. yeah. And then you're like, well, great. Hmm. That's how I've got to spend my Tuesday. Well, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry no, that not. it sent you down a dark path like <laughs> no. that, but... <laughs> no, not at all. I I still enjoy reading it because yeah. even bad comics, I still, uh, still comics. find fun. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. it's still Batman. It's a different look at Batman. And now I can realize that there is a way that I will extremely dislike the character. We need some more uh, Captain Carrot and Azukuru. Yeah, no, we'll come back. You know? I, I will come back just lighter and less ridiculous. It's, it's, oh, it was no, a no, different no. kind. More ridiculous. More ridiculous. How can I put uh, a little lighter? A little lighter. Yeah. Sorry. Lighter and it. more ridiculous. Lighter, more ridiculous. I can yeah. find that. This probably means we're going back to the 80s or 70s. That so y'all buckle great. up. Uh, until next week, though, I'm Zach, joined by Mike. We appreciate it as always. And you guys take care. Got it, Con! Frozen. Frozen. Heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen. Frozen. Heroes. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast.